coffee, conversation. These are things you might expect at a coffee shop, but at Richard's Coffee Shop in Mooresville, you'll find something far more interesting, the people. I was on the Manhattan Project. I uh, uh, was in a group called Non-Destructive Testing, and I worked on the in, uh, inner components of the bomb. Whenever there was an event, I'd go out and I'd photograph the event on the last event. I was exposed to two lifetime dosages of radiation. The war stories that you see on television were lived by these guys. We attached flamethrowers to our backs. I took one cave on one side, he took one on the other. Most damage is it depletes the oxygen. So that took care of anybody that was in the caves. We had no trouble after that. There's certainly a lot of history here. In fact, the artifacts on display were all donated, and thanks to volunteers, the museum is constantly evolving. One of the things I do here is that just about everything you see, uh, I'm responsible for where it goes. If you come here and you look around, uh, all of the displays were laid out. That's what I do, I, I lay out the displays. It all started here 14 years ago when Richard Warren opened what was then Pat's Gourmet Coffee Shop. Over time, it progressed into a living military museum. The only nonprofit coffee shop in America, Richard's has been involved with many veterans organizations from the American Legion to Toys for Tots. Currently, proceeds come from coffee sales, but thanks to a generous $20,000 contribution from Bojangles, a new kitchen is being built. While coffee is certainly on the menu, it seems that camaraderie is enjoyed this, by all. This was a good answer for me, and it, it's given me great joy. You just develop a bond that we're happy to gather together once again. For the one to turn to at Richard's Coffee Shop in Mooresville, I'm Joe Hester, Connecticut School of Broadcasting News.